I still know what you did last summer follows uh, one year after the original where uh, our main character Julie is in college she's you know just I guess just doing college stuff and then she gets a letter she's having all these dreams and all that stuff she does not get a letter on the why I said that she is having all these dreams and stuff with the fisherman then eventually one of her friends wins a trip to Bahamas she decides to go with him and lo and behold she gets there and the fisherman is still killing off her friends one by one and she has to take figure out what's going on with this and yeah um i wasn't planning on reviewing this movie because i mean i thought i was just gonna review the first one maybe review the second one next year but well, last night i decided to do a double feature of this movie and another movie from the 90s which i will talk about like eventually um and yeah this one it's one of the like least liked horror films i've ever seen probably from a lot of people it has like a seven percent of Rotten tomatoes it's like no one likes this movie a lot of people don't and honestly, that's so surprising to me because I had a lot of fun with this movie. It's not perfect by any means, but it's really, really fun. It's not nearly as good as the original, but it has some really good kills in it. It has some really good moments. It has some really corny and cheesy moments and some really weird and annoying characters. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't at least like enjoy the movie for what it was, which is just a late 90s slasher, which, yeah, it worked for what it was in my opinion. Uh, main character with Julie in this movie being put by Jennifer Love Hewitt is pretty much the same amount as she was in the original movie. Uh, she's okay. Free Prince Jr. here, he kind of is a little bit better in this one. He's not in it much, which, and when you come to think of it, he wasn't really in the original much either. But he's still very good in this movie, and he gives a really, really good performance. Um, for what a Free Prince Jr. performance is, which really isn't much. Um, Brandy is in this movie as, um, uh... Jennifer Love Hewitt's best friend. She's a lot of people say she's annoying. I don't think she's that bad. I think she's pretty okay in this movie, even though she's basically cock blocking your boyfriend the entire time. It's just kind of funny. Speaking of that, the boyfriend character is fine, I guess. He's just kind of horny and hungry, as he says, which I just think it's a that's a very funny line. Um, you have the other character, Will. Will is just the standard nice guy who's like, oh, Julie. You should be with me, not with Freddy Prince Jr. Because he's always working on the boat. <laughs> and I'm like right here. It's just... Yeah, Will is annoying. I will say that. Will is very annoying in this movie. Also wants to get to the island and meet this clerk that's kind of like, you know, angry all the time. This bartender that's kind of like the same vibe. Uh, Jack Black, who's like this guy who sells, who's like trying to sell weed every five seconds. And he's like one of the characters a lot of people despise in this movie. I think he's kind of sort of great. I think he's really, really fun. Like, he isn't, to some extent, a little annoying um, in some scenes, but he's not bad at all, in my opinion. He's really, really fun. He just goes up to people and is just like, hey, you want this? Or he goes in the pool and he just goes, hey, yo, what's your love? <laughs> he does the exact same thing with the fisherman. He goes like, hey, yo, what's your love, fisherman? It's just, it's a lot of fun. I like him a lot. Um, The main plot of this movie, going to the Bahamas, is like, it feels like something you would do in like your fourth or fifth movie, but they're doing it in their second, which is a little strange. Um, but it works for what they're going for. Um, the setting definitely is like different, and it has like a fun 2000s, late 90s vibe to it, which I do like a lot. And then at the ending, when it starts raining, the entire like climax is kind of it's a lot of fun in my opinion. Um, yeah, no, the the kill was in this movie. They're pretty good. They're a little better here than they were in the first. The first, they were pretty tame, besides, like, one kill with Litter from the Big Bang Theory. This one, there's a... The kills aren't very tame, <laughs> really. They're more, like... There was, there's some very tame ones where it's just, oh, blood splatters. But there were some very tense scenes in this one, like, whenever Brandy gets locked in this, like, little place. But the fisherman, she keeps crashing around those windows and all those, like, glass and all that stuff. Um, there's a, like... The very ending of the movie is very tense because you're like, oh, we don't know which character is actually the fisherman in this scenario. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really, really fun. The opening scene, like, not the opening scene, but, like, the scene whenever Freddy Prince Jr. and his friend are, like, driving. And, um, the fisherman's, like, there and he tricks them into thinking that they're, they're just, like, the dummy in the road is a body. It's not. It's really, really fun. Uh, that sequence is. And uh, his friend was actually really, really fun, too. I don't know, this felt really... It was really just cool being back in this world again, because think about the first one after watching it, like, that, I guess after just thinking about it, I do really enjoy that first movie a lot. I think it's pretty great. <laughs> it's not, like, amazing, but it's, like, it's a really fun movie. 
this one it's fun but you can I can tell it there's not some great things in this movie it is it has some pretty bad stuff in it which is to its detriment and it sucks because that yeah because there's too many red herrings in this movie which is a big problem for me because it's like okay we think it, we all basically know who the killer is here <laughs> We know what's happening, and while the reveal itself is, like, really stupid, I did see it coming. And whenever they're like, oh, it's this voodoo guy, he's the killer, oh no, it's this guy, he's the killer, it's this, this person. I'm just like, oh my gosh, will you stop? <laughs> um, I'm not stupid. I know who it is. You guys have plainly set it up for me. Like, who is the first person that will come to your mind when you're like, oh, who's the killer in this movie? When you look at all the characters and all the rosters, who's the first character out of all of them that you will look at? That would be... The killer or one of the killers? That's right. It's the nice guy. It's Will. And the way he explains it is like, Will Benson, Benson. You know, it's just like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> it's just like, that is so annoying. And it's just, it's so just like, oh, huh, we got you, audience. You didn't get me. <laughs> I don't mean it's not like a prick, but it's like, you didn't get me. I knew you. I knew you were the killer. And yeah, he was. And he's just... It's so weird, um, because it's just, it was so predictable. And the dad also being in this, you know, Ben, Will, um, uh, ben Willis, I think that's his name, yeah, being in this movie, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous, because he did get knocked out, it's like, oh, they never found his body, it's like, dude, <laughs> how? It's, it's, just, it's weird, um, but I do, it is fun having two killers, it gets a different dynamic, even though Will dies off really quick, and then, yeah. There isn't much of a defeat with um, uh, Ben Willis. He just gets pushed to a grave and gets shot a bunch of times. And yeah, it's not very interesting. Uh, one of the biggest, one of this movie's biggest problems is it really tries to copy the first one. Because this came out a year after the first. They didn't have no time to shoot this movie. So what they did was they were just like, oh, we're just, just going to, I guess, copy and paste the original script and just put it in the Bahamas. <laughs> and then we just went from there. And it's just like, okay, whatever. It's not very interesting. <laughs> and just the idea of the movie isn't. It's just like, it's your standard sheet, a sequel plot. Where it's just like, oh, we're just going to do the first movie in a different location. We're just do the first movie and add a few different characters. This is like, I don't. That's not, that's not how this did work. <laughs> this just isn't very good. And that pains me to say, but it's fine. It's a it's a guilty pleasure for me, this movie is. In the ending of it, I do kind of hate with like every passion of my being. It, it's just so annoying, the ending that this movie is, because it's like, oh, ho, they, they got him again. There's another jump scare. I'm just like, it's okay. Stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, this movie's fine. Um, it's a guilty pleasure for me, because I just it has that nostalgia for me, but... Besides that, this is, if you, like, don't connect with the nostalgia of, like, late 90s, early 2000s, you're gonna think this movie is pretty much as bad as Rotten Tomatoes does. So, in the long run, now, balancing out, I'll give this movie about, give it a C+. Plus. <laughs>